Ladies and gentlemen, it is February 7th. The year is 2023. My name is Will Koontz. This is an HM bonus edition of the homemade broadcast. That means the Johnny B show is not on the air. I've approached Johnny B. I've been in contact for him to join me on the stream, but he went to the Tampa Bay Lightning game this evening. I can't blame him. I can't blame him. So no Johnny B tonight, maybe uh, maybe Thursday. We'll see. I, I, there was a few things I wanted to touch on. There was so much happening. We've had many days off the air now, and my my prep list that I do is getting very long. There's the Sam Smith at the Grammys dressed like Satan and dancing around, and people are mad about that. And then there's the AI Seinfeld show on Chat GPT or something came up with, and it's on Twitch, and it said something about trans and now it's banned and people are upset a lot of people are upset right now too many people are upset i think everyone can agree with that i want to talk to you though i there's something that this bugs me i don't know if it bugs you or not i'm also probably more easily irritated than the average person and many of you are better people than i am you have compassion you have sympathy and that's good that is good to have. Um, but also, you got to watch out for people who are just going to take advantage of you, who are hucksters and uh, people who do anything for a quick buck. We know that this happens. It happens a lot, probably more than what we even know about. GoFundMe is a phenomenal example of this trend where people are just really willing to put their bids out there. Things that are going on in their lives that are embarrassing, shocking, TMI in many instances, but for whatever reason, um, a few shekels will help heal the pain. And there's been a few, sometimes I'll get these, you know, in, in my Twitter DMs. I'm sure I don't have to deal with it as much as other people, you know, uh, more well-known people, but on an occasion, I get a DM from somebody in my Instagram or Twitter and it goes, hey, Will, I'm having a hard time. Here's a GoFundMe. I got kids and I do this and I'm dying and I need help. And I go, oh, God, I'm sorry. There's so many people that need help. And I feel like if I repost one of these things, first of all, I don't want to be a part of anyone else getting scammed if it is one of those people. And I'll even maybe I'll even say it's rare. I don't think it's that rare. But even if it is rare. I don't want to put it out there to the small audience that I have. And now you're getting scammed for, for some bucks off of this whole thing by someone who's grifting. By the way, hmbradio.com slash donate. Uh, there's a page there where you can hit the tip jar if you're enjoying these vids. No GoFundMe necessary. If I had an edit button, I would like zoom in on my face right now, but I don't. But people get real graphic with some of these things. I, I do want to go over this list. I found these uh, cringeworthy GoFundMes that uh, apparently actually did happen. But um, as an undisclosed human being, I don't want to get this person in any sort of trouble for putting people's business out there. They sent me a, a GoFundMe and kind of just went oof for this one. I'm going to read it to you. This is a real, the person knows this person is asking for money. And it says, uh, hello, everyone. Hello. Recently, my husband was arrested on theft charges that I knew nothing about. When he was arrested, he had his mistress in the car with him. I also obviously didn't know about her. That sucks. He has run up a considerable amount of debt in my name. And while he's been in jail, we have found that none of the assets he said that he had existed. We have, uh, uncovered a lot more lies in the process about his past and character. I'm currently pursuing divorce. This is a, to help the process. I am creating this because I've had a few people ask how they can help. And unfortunately, financial help is most needed right now. Thank you for reading. And if you donate, thank you so much. I, I mean, this isn't a, a well-known person. I don't know how the algorithms work with the GoFundMe and how much he's expecting. But 
it can't be that much. What are we talking? You just put that story out there for what? A thousand bucks? Maybe if you're lucky. I'd rather have, I don't want people knowing that stuff. I'd rather just, you know, maybe pick up a side gig on the weekends and, and make that money myself than to tell everybody my business about how I got conned and hustled and and lied to and made to look like a fool. And said people are just like, nah, I'll just take the embarrassment and hope that people will help me out here. I mean, it's a strategy. It's a move. I don't know if it's a good move. Like I said, I don't think I would do it. But people, people do it. And I found this list. This is, uh, let me get me out of here. I'm my own producer here, so I have to do everything myself. Hide this. Let's make this big so you can see it. And some of these are just stupid. Okay, this is from last year. I found this. This is E-Bombs World, which I did not know existed. Uh, still existed until just now. That was a site I went to a lot when I was a, a younger teenage boy. So here's one. And some of these you just go, yeah, these are just stupid. But some of them are more stories like that one. So I'll go through these stupid ones quick. White boy who needs money for Fortnite. He says, after XXX Tanashian died, I was sad. ASF. I didn't know what to do, but play my favorite game. But I realized I was broke and can't afford the battle pass or skin. I'm in desperate need of an upgrade. Show love. Okay. No. Uh, I'm only 15. Make me the youngest millionaire ever. You missed the boat, buddy. I mean, this is somebody did this. I remember. Send me a dollar, and a million people did it and made the person a millionaire. That's a good. That's a good scam. That's a. That's a funny innovative thing but this kid's way too late so no you're out i would like three dollars for some green beans that's just stupid you know who cares raising a big family is expensive and you can help so now these are these are our these are all our problems now these people made mistakes they had just terrible judging characters you know sometimes people get fooled i get it but now this is our problem we have to deal with this too and she says that, uh, oh, this is kind of small. Everyone knows that raising kids is expensive proposition. You might have seen the GoFundMe campaign that raised $10,000 for an injured piglet. I thought we could give people an opportunity to donate to what we think is a much more worthy cause. We are working hard trying to raise seven healthy, happy, caring, conservative kids in our home. You might ask, why $70,000? Good question. We chose $70,000 for a few reasons. Number one, $70,000 is very close to the same amount that our family saves as taxpayers, i.e. the government each year by homeschooling our own kids. Okay, well, you're cutting costs already. It sounds like you're doing pretty good. Uh, number two, $70,000 is exactly seven times more than what was raised for the piglet in distress. We chose to homeschool our kids at great personal expense to avoid many and well-known pitfalls of our public education system. This takes a huge investment in both time and money. Your donation of $50 could help buy a pair of shoes, boots, or supplies, or for a hunting trip. Look, I hear you about the school. I hear you. But um, $70,000 for seven kids? I don't think so. Somebody wants a Fendi bag. Let's be honest. You're lying. For, for, freaking, you, don't, you get the tax credit, for God's sakes. You don't even have to pay the taxes for the school. No, you're not getting the money. Uh, I want my $90 back because my date called me fat. Well, let's see. Uh, oh, there's no more to that. <laughs> I thought there was a story with that. Pretty lady? No. 90 pounds? Oh, my God, for England, that's a 10 in England. My God. No, you're not getting the money. Number six says getting a BBL and screwing my ex's dad wants $4,000. My name is Redacted, and I'm a 26-year-old woman. I was previously in a relationship with a man who, thought, uh, who I thought was the man of my dreams. After almost two years, he broke up with me, stating that I was not his type. He told me, I wasn't shaped how he wanted, that I had too much fat in the stomach and a flat butt. It ruined me, but I have a plan. Could just get a gym membership. I mean, if you really want to keep this dude, he's made it clear. Maybe go do some squats and 
you know, cut the carbs for a few weeks, but no, instead they want $4,000. So, uh, She's doing it so she can F his dad on camera and send it to him. So she needs $4,000. I guess it's going to be highly HD, which is cool. That's nice that she's considering that. Uh, let's make uh, Kylie Jenner get to a billion dollars. I believe she did that on her own. Shrek flavor deodorant posters all over my school. Somebody, they actually got $43 for that. Uh, hopefully I can repost here when I hit my goal. I'll probably get removed now but I'll be back when I have the keys in hand. A family home, zero raised of $1 million. A family home, $1 million. Where you live in Tampa, St. Pete? Man, you need to move somewhere else. I don't know where you live in where it's a million dollars, but no, you're not getting the money. I want an iPhone 10. Wife said no. Hey, uh, why don't you get your balls back? Why don't you sell your balls that your wife has in her purse and auction those off and then go buy an iPhone 10, you dweeb? No, you're not getting the money. Number 11. Uh, what is this one? Spiritual journey and travel fund. This dummy wants ten thousand dollars to go on a trip. No, absolutely not. Uh, Head Smart Labs Deflate Gate study. I'm assuming this has something to do with Thomas Brady's Deflate Gate controversy to either try to prove him guilty or innocent, and they need seventy five thousand dollars for that. Okay, uh, AirPods, hundred bucks. I'm raising money because I want AirPods because I deserve them because I go to a really hard school because my parents made me. Anyways, I'm a really good person and I like music. Save my relationship. Wow, this person reached their goal. 325 out of the $300 that they wanted. 300 bucks, that'll do it to save his relationship. You know what? Maybe I would, uh, maybe I would contribute to that one. If that's all it takes, you know, Godspeed. Midlife crisis squirrel tattoo. This guy wants a tattoo for his midlife crisis, and he needs $2,000. I don't understand how people have tattoos. I, and there's people that are just absolutely coded in these tattoos, and they are expensive. They're sometimes thousands of dollars per tattoo. I don't get it. I don't understand how people have that much disposable income. That's, that's wild. Going bald. I need hella hats. Help. That's funny. Uh, that's pretty good. You got 83 bucks for some hats. Help me buy GoFundMe. $200 million, that seems low. I thought they'd be worth more than that. Uh, make this the most donated to project. They want 24, whatever weird currency that is. I have no idea. Uh, okay. Fund the Alabama state government. I will not be surprised if that is actually the state of Alabama. It's not going great over there. Help me transition into a trans financial man. My name is blank. And with all this talk about transgender and transracial issues, I think it's my time to come clean with my secret. I'm trans financial. And that means I am a rich man born in a poor man's body. Please help me. Obviously a uh, jab at uh, some of our friends who have changed certain things about themselves. Aaron Carter, check it out. Help me get me on back on top. Didn't work. He's dead now. Uh, click here to support Aaron Carter on top, organized by Aaron Carter. He wants uh, a, looks like some sort of condo with a pool. I hope he got it in heaven or hell. I need money for alcohol, 25000 That is a lot of booze or a few nice bottles of bourbon. But I, I've priced these out. It's, it's an expensive hobby, folks. My girlfriend wants a Jeep for Christmas, 10000 You ain't getting a Jeep for ten grand. Even a beat-up Jeep you're not getting for ten grand. Those things are ridiculously hold their value. Way too much. I have a plan. I just need money. Lead to that, that. $2,500. looks like he raised uh, some off that. Hopefully he got it. That plan, this is Hunter Biden's crack fund. I don't I'm sorry. I don't know. I need money to buy Minecraft. I think that's a game. I think he was talking about Minecraft. I forgot the T. Hospital bills because I'm sick of 2020. Yes, sir. No. If 50,000 people give me a dollar, I can buy a Tesla. That's true. You could, but you ain't getting one for me. Do any of you know what a metaphor is? I need support for my fellow Rolling Stones. Rolling Stones, writers, philosophers, musicians, artists, drawers. 
and just plain people of pain. Anything helps, your words, your voice, your lucky pennies. Trailblazer, click here to support buying back my parents' trust. Uh, is this serious, Daddy? I asked the internet for 20 grand. Does this prove I'm trustworthy and understand the value of myself and things? It's using brains and humor. Yes. I am asking the internet for 18,000 mother effing dollars because my dad sends me to re rehab bills every day and has never once complained about paying off my sister's college tuition. Whew. Did you even read the cause? I'm not going to take the hard route and work at a sandwich shop. When I have the power of the internet, no S, it's not going to gain his trust, but it might impress him. 18000 is a lot of money. My family blocked on social media, so this can be a surprise. Thanks for the judgment. Uh, instead of crowdfunding trust in the form of 20 k maybe crowdfund some sense. Yes, thank you. And uh, Aaron's birthday wish. It's just a stupid dog, rat, Chuck E. Cheese mouse looking thing um that was fun going through these with you and i don't know maybe i'm wrong it's possible that i am uh, cold-hearted it's possible that i am right and <sighs> you know i'm right I'm always right it's a curse i'm telling you it's a dang curse but let me know leave me a comment down below what do you think about these GoFundMes? Easy way to scam some cash, actual good work. Do you give to these things? I want to know. I don't. I don't think I ever. No, that's not true. I have. Oh, I got one one time. So this was personal experience from somebody that I kind of know. And it was like, I want to buy my kids a video game machine and like let other kids in the neighborhood use it. So I need five grand to accomplish this goal. So if you could contribute, that would be awesome. I already bought it, and then they said, we're not going to give it to you, so I need to buy it again. That was that was the scam. Where he already per Sorry, he already purchased it. They said no, so he wants to buy it again. From I don't know if these, it's one of these custom-made video game machines, supposedly. Red alert. Nope, not doing that. Uh, but there was some for, like, if you know them personally and they have health issues and you know yeah, they have health issues or, I don't know. It's just like, I don't understand how, you know, getting your heart broken and cheated on how some cash will help. I do, but also is the cash worth it? I just can't see the cash being worth it. But uh, maybe I'm wrong. Leave a comment below. Tweet me, home underscore made underscore man, Instagram home underscore made underscore man. The homemade broadcast at gmail.com, 813-693-2124. And leave a text or voicemail there. Back on air tomorrow night with Johnny B, 10 to midnight on the bone. Thursday, we're off again. And then Friday, we'll be back live. So looking forward to that. Have a great night. Share the podcast. Uh, put it on your Facebook or your Twitter. Tweet it out. Uh, give it five stars. You know, Leave comments. Leave thumbs up. That helps. Good night.